Hi Flat Earthers, this is Zach. First of all, before it starts, I want to say something. I never wanted to make this video, but as I promised you many times, I just look for the truth and I will defend it even if it goes against my beliefs and even if my friends and followers don't like it. Sometimes when I see flat earthers doing something that I see as a misconception, I try to contact them privately and tell them what I think. And this is exactly what I did this time. But it seemed like that this time my friends didn't see my emails and I think that it's my duty to clarify this to everyone. Because this misconception is growing so fast and I was asked about my opinion many times so I decided to make this little video to give my opinion and let you decide for yourself. And to those who like drama, please don't be ridiculous and go to their channels and be like, oh Zach debunks your video you idiot. Don't do that please, they are my friends no matter what, don't try to ruin our friendship. Whatever you want to do, it ain't going to work. And to people who don't know me, I am a flat earther. I am not defending the globe. I am just explaining how the angles really work on the globe according to the globe model. So don't get it twisted. Well, my friends say that the program Google Earth got the angles wrong. So when you go east or west at a 90 degree angle, you find yourself going in the wrong direction and not on the same latitude line. So in order to explain this, I'm going to have to explain how the coordinates work on the globe. And then I will explain the angle that is creating all this misconception. In other words, I will create Google Earth in AutoCAD. And I will go 90 degrees east and I will compare anything I discover with Google Earth. And you will see and understand the difference and don't panic, the math is not included. So I'm going to take you to AutoCAD and show you how the coordinates work on a 3D globe. And here is the globe Earth. The yellow circle is the prime meridian and the red circle is the equator. And they both intersect in this point, which is the start point, or the zero degree angle. But for the azimuth, the north is the zero degree angle. And to measure it, you go from north to east. Don't confuse these angles, please. Now, if I want to draw a longitude line 20 degrees east, I'm going to have to start from the center of the globe and not from this point. And then I type in 20 degrees and go east. And if I want to go west, I'm going to have to do it on the opposite direction. And of course, if I want to measure the latitude lines, I'm going to have to go up or down. Okay? Now I'm going to locate Sydney using the coordinates only. So I'm going to make the map invisible in order to locate Sydney without looking at the map. Now let's check the coordinates of Sydney. Here is Sydney and those are the latitude and longitude angles. So I'm going to start with the longitude angle which is 151.2099 degrees. So we go back to AutoCAD and choose a line and go to the center of the earth and type in the same exact angle. 151.2099. And there you go, that is the angle. Now I'm gonna draw the latitude angle which is 33 degrees. It's funny that most of the important cities around the world are in the 33rd parallel. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm gonna draw minus 33.865143. The reason why I draw minus 33 is because we wanna go south and not north. Now it's telling me to type the length of the line. So it's going to be 3959, which is the radius of the earth. Now I'm going to add a circle around the city just to recognize it when we make the map visible again. Now let's check if I did it right. Okay. That city right there is Sydney. You see it? That's very accurate, right? Now consider the circle right here as a compass which the north is points into the geographic north pole. Now I'm going to draw a 90 degree line to the east and I'm going to make it long enough so we can have obvious results at the end. So as I said before, the north pole is always at zero degrees and the azimuth is always measured from the north towards the east. So the east is always at 90 degrees. And let me demonstrate this to you. It's exactly 90 degrees. Okay? 
I know you're probably asking yourself why I'm doing this. Just be patient and focus, because if you don't, you will miss the point. So this line makes sense now, right? It looks like it's on the same latitude line, but in Google Earth, it doesn't. Well, I'm going to explain to you what Google Earth does. First, Google Earth doesn't draw lines. It draws circles. So in order to do that in AutoCAD, I'm going to have to draw a perpendicular line on the globe. And to do that easily, all I have to do is draw a line from here to the center of the globe. You see that point right there? Does it look 90 degrees east? It doesn't, but it is at 90 degrees. Remember, this is a globe and not a cubic. There are no straight lines on it. So to draw a 90 degree angle, you have to do it this way. There is no other way, okay? I'm gonna prove it to you, just watch. Now to test Google Earth, I'm gonna get the coordinates of this location and then locate it in Google Earth and measure the distance and the angles between Sydney and that point. So I'm gonna draw some necessary lines just to measure the angles of latitude and longitude. So here is the angle of longitude. It's 139.93 degrees west okay remember the star's point is where the primary radian and the equator intersect and the angle of latitude is 13.61 south this is how you get the coordinates of any point on the globe earth now i'm gonna type these coordinates right here so i can copy them and paste them in google earth to locate that position okay 139.93 west, 13.61 south. Right click and copy. Now I'm gonna move to Google Earth and paste the location there. Now we wait. Now I'm gonna mark this location and name it location one. Now let's go to Sydney to draw a line from Sydney to the points we just located. Well, this is the inner city and I'm not sure where it starts from, but I'm just gonna start from any points around here. It shouldn't make a big difference. Now we go to the points we located to see the angle and the distance. The angle should be 90 degrees and the distance should match with my drawing. So as you can see, the angle is exactly 90 degrees and the distance is 4,498 miles. The angle is perfect. Now we are going to check the distance. So let's get back to AutoCAD. And the distance in my drawing is 4,493 miles. So the difference is only 5 miles. I might have started from a wrong place in Sydney or maybe the radius of the earth that I used is not the same as the radius on Google Earth. As you know the radius they give us is not always the same number. But you get the point now, right? To me their program is perfect and if you try this on any place on earth it will work the same. You just need to do it correctly. So conclusions, there is one more angle that we didn't talk about which is the angle of elevation. So if the azimuth of the sun in London is at 90 degrees and the angle of elevation is at 40 degrees, then you should draw it just like this. And if you want to go east at 90 degrees, don't expect to stay on the same latitude line. Because the latitude line is not the same thing. I'm going to draw it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. So, this is the latitude line of London. Compare it with the 90 degree line. The 90 degree line is going to take you to the equator because it's a ball. But hey, don't let NASA impress you by this Google Earth. It's easier to do and it can only be done on a 3D ball, not in reality. I encourage you to test the azimuth of real life with a compass and compare the results with the globe model. 
Now, if you agree with my explanation and you want to measure the azimuth in real life, let me know in the comments so I can explain how to do it correctly and give nobody a chance to tell you you are doing it wrong. And please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I am the man who understands everything. Please, that's not my intention. Thanks for watching.